with its track record for solid clinic performance, the soft tissue level implant is the best documented implant system for so many clinicians. What makes a difference to me is that the soft tissue level implant is a very safe implant which has been documented by so many clinical studies over decades. I think the Dirk study is a really fascinating study because it does take a look at the real world application of implant dentistry and, and, and that's something that is separate from very you know, restrictive uni university based studies. And What makes the Dirk study important for showcasing the tissue level implant and its health of the peri-implant tissue is that again the concept that that bacterial burden is, is moved away from the bone and as such you don't get that preliminary bone loss around the top of the implant. What confirms my clinical and scientific experience was a recent clinical study from Sweden involving more than 20,000 patient records revealing that the soft tissue level implant showed the lowest risk of perimplantitis compared to other implant systems. As I say, I use the implant everywhere in the mouth. It's my default implant, and anywhere I could possibly place the tissue level implant, I do. And it's, it's provided 20 years of very good long-term success in my practice. The restorative dentists love restoring it. It's simple, it's straightforward. It's a win-win for all concerned.